Yo, what's going on world? What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, uh, you know, hashtag DFAFD. Don't vlog all fucking day. We're back here in Stylus. It's day number two. It's a Sunday. Everybody's hungover, but if we're going to have a fucking good time, please make some noise! Yeah, shout out to all the fans. Yo, everybody got on it last night. The fans, the battles, and stuff. Everybody we had a great time. The whole day yesterday was crazy, man. Big up everybody that was here to support with day one. Shout out to everybody who already made it with day two as well. You know, all my links, if you want to contact me, are on the screen right about now. Same with the whole Don't Club staff team. Please hit us up like whatever. All right, battle number one of day number two. MC on my right hand side hasn't battled in the league for a while, but smashed it earlier on this year. Please make him feel welcome. Make some noise for Juan. Let's go. Yeah! MC on the left hand side needs no introduction, battled numerous times, battled in Berlin, Ireland, all over the fucking world. Make you feel welcome, Mr. Tom Twister. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, cool, we flipped off camera and it's gonna be one, round number one, day number two. Let's go. When I said I wanted a break battle like Soul had with that old guy, I didn't mean that I wanted to battle this old guy. Cause your old man mannerisms get me mad. Cause I search for your music, check your bangers, and you flow like this when you rap. He's a veteran and better than these petty rappers. <laughs> old, school style. old school style and the best of banter. Got a flow that I'll take out. No, no, no. <laughs> you mental spacker. You know an MC needs a pension planner when he's still got a flow like MC Hammer. <laughs> I mean, damn TT, you're so whack that when you clash Sleepy, he said, I'll strip your style down till it's cheesier than five graters. Yeah. And you still got rapped easy. <laughs> If it's that easy, then I'm 10 out of 10. You're 6. That means I'm 4 greater. <laughs> Plus I'm 4 battles in, all debatable. That means on you I'm a 4 greater. So I'll strip his style down so it's easier than 4 greaters. But he's whack. What did Dope Flop give me him for? Great uh. <laughs> But fuck your battle resume, it's depressing. I just find it funny how he is a veteran, yet we'll battle me in a second when I'm four battles in. Can already let my writings end in, while you can only pull the strings with the experience behind you like Jimi Hendrix. So go ahead, talk about my age, but that's a petty diss. So put it this way, if I'm still doing this at 30, basically on benefits, traveling the country to be facing off with any kid, I beg one of you lot, take me to a therapist. <laughs> Yo, fuck a pre-written. Seeing as we didn't have more than two weeks with it, I thought I'd do some free spitting. I'd be flipping with these lyrics. And why am I battling some little kid? Because I wanted a free ticket and I've never been to Leeds, innit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's right, you're right. I am old, bruv, but hold up, I'll own up. You're so young, you look at Carlos as a grown-up. <laughs> <laughs> but when Bam said he was doing break battles, I offered kindly. But if I'm honest, right, I didn't know what it might be. I wanted a battle on stage where it's proper lively, but at first we were going to be outside. Because he's 14 plus and he thought he forgot his ID. <laughs> nah, the real reason isn't because of his age, it's because he's like daylight with stage fright. He ain't shit on stage. And do you remember when you said, you get played behind your back like the Fender the Jimi Hendrix whipping? Well, you get played behind your back by no one, because you've never been with any women. <laughs> You also said you have Jesse Pickman's meth addiction embedded in your genetic system. Well, that was definitely ballsy, but I'd say your genetics would more be Walt Jr.'s terrible palsy. <laughs> <laughs> and just because he wears glasses, and usually, and makes geeky references, does not mean he's intelligent when he speaks his sentences. I noticed in one of your battles you have a speech impediment. You said, we mix it. Please leave the premises. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he called Juan? Is what they're all about to ask. It's because his real name is Ron and he can't pronounce his own. Let's go. Each battle, you come with those cheap angles for the guys you try cussing, G. So in that case, you better have your best Juan name flips lined up for me. Like ABC, Juan23, Juan this, Juan that. Juan Direction, The Haunted, Juan Frick, Juan, Juan Matter, Juan Too Many, Juan Can't, Juan Can. Shut up, you dumb mug, or I'll give you the Juan Bang. <laughs> I 
because those Juan name flips are basic, but there's something you'll go try, you fraggle, with your easy approaches. Just don't try to battle, because they're simple to write with no kind of hassle, and this ain't trigonometry, so I don't co-sign those angles. Okay. <coughs> so I don't co-sign those angles, because you're a massive racist. <laughs> I mean, it's sad that when you spray bars, if the man you're facing is black or Asian, you grab your stack of race bars. You're a grand national punter. You just gamble on a race card. Because mm. this spit is not a great writer. He's a Britain first page liker. <laughs> you, don't even... <laughs> you don't even speak to people that aren't traditionally English. And newsflash, you twat. Black humour doesn't mean a minstrel show, you dickhead. <laughs> He's got an England flag hanging from his windowsill and swinging. The type to say, oh, I'm not racist. I'm saying, you know, uh, Britain for the British. <laughs> I mean, he even said Sleepy was Chinese. But look at his complexion. That shit clearly isn't fair. And four angles like that are what are the real difference here. Because every battle I'm reaching, I off heads and kill a bread. Every battle you're reaching for some concept that isn't there. Mm. This time. Let's go. Make some noise. Let's go. People like him, where they live. They've never seen a split for a bailiff. Never worked a day shift. He stays rich. It's mummy's money that he pays with. How do I know? Gay quiff. Shame. Wait, wait, shit. Wait, shit. Gay quiff. Clothes that are properly tight. I know who you want to be like. It's obvious, right? Jeff. But we'll just call you Jefferson Cheap because you're a knock off a price. Mm. Your dress sense is alarming. It makes less sense than your bastard. I bet you say things like big, big, and your pardon, and your best friend is called Tarquin. <laughs> <laughs> but your name is Juan, and it's not often you see Mexican people, unless they're cleaning in an American region and it's very illegal. <laughs> and look, we only had two weeks prep, mate. And seeing as we don't get paid, when he said he wanted longer rounds, I didn't get phased. I said, let's just keep it short, Juan. I don't like writing for essays. <laughs> <laughs> And yo, I am old, but you think that that can be Taylor? Well, I'd rather be old than be that teenager looking like Harry Baker, Shag C Major. <laughs> Chris is a veteran, part of that 012 killer crop. You know, villain, og, that whole style that you wish you got. <laughs> That's why you think that you're hot, like you're up with that team, but you ain't king of the crop. You ain't touching the seas of villain and what's enigma and nog when you got fucked up by bleak. Mm. Think Wizard of Oz. This twist is stuck in a dream. Mm. Yeah. This twist is stuck in a dream. <coughs> what's more, you're a proper wanker. Oh shit. <laughs> Better watch what I say, because you live near Kent. Ooh, sorry, gangster. <laughs> Slow it down. I said you live near Kent. Sorry, gangster. <laughs> if you live in a home in Surrey with loads of money, why do you look so broken bummy? Because aside from your whack flows and punches, bruv, just look at your hats, clothes, you ugly mug. What they really tell me is your bankroll is nothing but there's something about you that screams Nando's customer. Mm. <laughs> so go ahead. Write and spit your freeze, but I write between <coughs> lessons. It's only right I spit and freeze. Cause a freestyle rapper, I thought that was the type that twist to be a tight and sick MC. But if we're speaking dots, G, easy body. Leon Trotsky, you died when hit with freeze. So this, <laughs> this freeze, this posh boy, pure estate of Titan in the league, thinks he's hip hop as anything. Freestyling shit on beats, but then we remember you're in your 30s, live in Surrey, and act like you're Biggie G. Twist has gone incognito, trying to hide his history. You wanna try and spit with me? Look at the difference between us. Old, ugly, a mess. Cold, younger and fresh. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you're getting beaten. Pummeled to death by a kid that only really comes to events if he knows his mum's gonna pick him up at the end. <laughs> <laughs> so. I saw your 16 bar challenge, and it was definitely great. And I especially rate the bit at the beginning where you pretended to shave. <laughs> but nah, you should have got the edge of that blade and started slitting your sleeve, because really, your 16 showed your 16 and you're the shittest MC. You lack enthusiasm and your rhythm is weak, it's like a palpitation. Your heart weren't in it, so you kept missing the beat. <laughs> Listen to me. Everyone said you lost to Jay Dillon. 
That battle was the harshest. But you got through to the next round, you jammy little bastards. <laughs> it's not when Ian Daniels nearly got sued for their logo that's advertised by artists because you lost your battle with JD and still carried on regardless. <laughs> Now he's blindly running forward while he's cutting corners Well I've got something for ya Crossing that line, fucking up the order We'll have another one kill trying to jump the border And even if I come with bars like Tony versus Shotty And all the judges give it to him That's just another perfect robbery Wrong terminology, I didn't word it properly It's like steroids Everyone will know you haven't earned that body um. You used to be good when you started like. Damn, that's heavy. You went from someone who raps deadly to a whack MC. Bars, he doesn't have any. He died out quicker than a blackberry, but won't admit that he dropped tears like Max Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> and people have tried, <laughs> and people have tried to teach you lessons, but they just leave you guessing because he doesn't want to speak to peasants for at least two seconds. You're just a teen who's stressing because he needs new presents. Being pre-bubescent doesn't seem too pleasant. Mm. And what? You think we're tight? Yeah, right. I have to shave my balls just to make it a fair fight. <laughs> <laughs> <Tight>. <laughs>